Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We are on video 19 and we are almost done with the Bible Journaling for Complete Beginners series. So today we are going to talk about adding bling to your page. So I went ahead and decorated the page um, before so that you didn't have to watch me do all of that. And now we're just going to talk about some things that you can add to your page. By the way, like I said, this is video 19. Next week, what I'm going to do is answer questions about Bible journaling. So if you are new to Bible journaling and do you have any questions that you would like answered, if you can put those down in the comments below, then I will try to get to as many of those as I can and um, see if we can't get some of your questions answered, especially if it's something that I haven't answered in one of these 19 videos. Um, I know we've covered a lot, um, but I kind of wanted like a concise place where the most frequently asked questions could be answered and um, get you on your way to spending time with God in a wonderful and creative way that really helps you grow your faith and your relationship with him. So let's get into some bling things. So I saw somebody using this in a video and I thought it was brilliant. So if you don't know what this is, this is one of the little sticks that you get with the diamond dots kits. And so these are what the little diamond dots look like. Um, we've got ours in a little case because my son is working on like this huge car. And so it's got a little bit of wax in the tip here and it picks up, it's going to be really hard for you to see that, but um, it picks up these little dots and then you stick them down to sticky paper. So I actually want some of these white ones because I think I'm going to put some of them on here. And so for me, I'm just going to use this art glitter glue and you can put them, put a little dot of glue and then they should come right off of this little wax. And if they don't, you can help them a little bit, but then you've got this little teeny tiny little piece of bling here and you can do that over and over and over again all over your page. But she, so I thought the diamond dots would be a cool thing to add because the light kind of catches them because of their angle and everything and some of them are pretty shiny. Some of them are a little bit more rounded um, but these look like little gems. So that's one thing you can add on here. They come like you can get little containers of them. So you can use something like that. Um, you can use something like little rhinestone flowers. So I'm probably going to put these on here. And they should stay with my art glitter glue. Now, the only thing that you need to keep in mind is that you don't want your pages to be too thick. So you do, excuse me, <coughs> you do have to be careful what you put on your page, but there's also lots of things that you can add. So you can add some thicker glitter washi tape. Um, you can add some little flowers like these. These are super cute and they're paper, so they will go on um, with just a little bit of glue. And then there is like, <laughs> of course there's like sequins and then these are some sequins and some stars. I might actually put some of those stars on here, but these are all going to be so much easier to pick up with this little tool, which is what I thought was such a cool idea. I never really, I've had one for years, but I never really thought about using it in these in this way. And they're really kind of a pain to pick up, but that wax just picks them right up and then you can just put them down wherever you've got a little bit of glue. And the wax is sticky, but it's not so sticky that the, the glue, since the glue is like liquid and a little bit stickier, it works just fine. So um, here's some little see-through sequins and some multicolor sequins. So you, here's a whole bunch of sequins. So you can add all kinds of sequins on here. Um, and then they also have some of these little things. They're more like rhinestones, I guess. These are kind of thick. 
I wouldn't put them in my Bible. I actually bought them for shaker cards. Um, so those might be a little thick. So you do want to be really careful when you're choosing what you're going to put in here. So like these are like little pearls and they're beautiful, but they might be a little thick. But these hearts might actually, well, they're a little thick too. So again, whenever you're going to pick out things, you really want to be careful that you don't put things that are um, too thick. These are pretty thin. Um, I mean, they're not for this page, but they're kind of cool looking. So you could add something like that. Then we also have things like, here's some cool little foam flowers. And these are sticker backs, so you can peel them and stick them on there wherever you want to. They're not super thick, so you could use something like that. Um, if you can find this, I love this stuff. It's so pretty. Um, so these are like fall leaves, acorns, and pumpkins. Look how cool those are. Those are so pretty. They would make, a, I've actually created a fall page with some of these. It was really pretty. And then some of the really pretty little leaves like that. So you could do something like that. You could always do a little splash of glitter. I'm not a huge glitter fan, to be honest. <laughs> Um, too many years working with two-year-olds, um, I don't really like glitter, but this is some really pretty pink glitter that I actually, it's very pretty. Somebody gave it to me. Um, I don't know when I'll use it, a shaker card. It would look really cute in a shaker card. Maybe that's what I'll do with it. And then I also picked up these at some point. And so this would be another thing where you could pick up these and put them down in a little bit of glue. And then you can just add a little bit of fun to your page. There you go, see, cute. And you can just pick up more of them just like that. Like they just kind of pick straight up and then you just put them down. Be careful with that because if you dump that over, it's a mess. Um, and then another thing that you can use is something like these are liquid pearls. You could get liquid pearls or you could get stickles. I think they kind of, uh, they're kind of the same thing, I think. Um, so you can use something like these. These are really, really pretty. This one's called Ballerina. I think I've got a couple other ones. Maybe I'll use, um, I think I'll use some of this blue. This one's called Robin's Egg. So I think I'll put some of that on here. Um, I don't want those, but I do want some more of those stars, I think. And I've just got some random sequins on here, so I'm going to add them on here too. So it really just kind of depends on one, what you maybe have in your stash, um, or two, what you can pick up, or even three, if you're part of a group who does a lot of um, swaps and things like that, then you can get a lot of little things like this, and that's a lot of fun too. Um, I love participating in swaps. Um, one group that I know that does a lot of swaps is, um, oh wait, there's already something on the end of that, is uh, Bible Journal, or um, <sighs> Mustard Seed Faith Women's Ministry. They do a lot of swaps and everything in there, everybody in there is so generous and so kind and gives such wonderful little gifts. Um, it's a lot, a lot of fun to be a part of. I um, love that group. It is another group that I do a lot of work with. You've probably seen me over there a bit if you're part of that group. Um, I really enjoy working with them. So then this is just a matter of kind of seeing what you want to put, where you want to put it. I'm definitely going to put some more of these stars. So since I know I want quite a few stars, I'm just going to go ahead and like dab some glue in a couple of different places. And then I can just easily pick these up and place them down. See how easy that is? I wish I would have remembered this or thought about this whenever um, I was making this journal that I just finished making. It was a birthday journal for a friend of mine's daughter. And I created a whole page with all of these kinds of things on there. And I had to put, I put them all on there individually. And I was like, man, this is hard trying to get them all on there and everything. Um, it would have been a lot easier with this little tool 
it's super simple. I think um, the video that I was watching, I think the lady said that you can get them from the nail place because they actually use them to put um, sequins and stuff on your nails when they're doing nails. I don't know. I don't, I don't get my nails done. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I really like these gold stars on here. This might be one of my new favorite things is to put little gold stars all over my page. It's kind of nice. Go on there. We'll put a couple down here too. And then I do think I'm going to grab some more of those little diamond dots and put them on here. So yeah, the sky's kind of the limit with this. Um, it makes for an easy little page decoration. It's kind of relaxing. You can meditate on your verse as you just kind of put them wherever you want them. I like that. Do I have glue anywhere else? I don't know. I think that's it. Okay, now I am going to add in a couple of these little diamond dots. I think I'll just kind of like disperse them in here a little bit. Probably gonna lose places and then just have glue, just have regular glue just dabbed everywhere. So I hope that you've enjoyed this series. I've really enjoyed creating it for you guys. Oops, there he goes. He didn't want to sit down for some reason. I put him on there too tight, I think. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this series. I think our next series is gonna be on digital Bible journaling, so getting started in that. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below. I've kind of got a little bit of a game plan, um, and I think that's what we might do next. I like having a series just because um, then I'm not trying to shove a whole bunch of information <laughs> into one video. We can kind of break it up. I also think I want to do a series on Bible studying and how to get started as a Bible, uh, how to get started in Bible study. So if that's something you're interested in, kind of keep a lookout for that. I think that's all the glue, glue spots I had left. I don't actually want this here. What if I can get rid of Oh, I did. Okay. Let me just put another one right here. And then I got to glue down my flowers there. So what I'll do with that, I think, is kind of like go over some of the very basic ones and then kind of dig in a little bit more to ones that are a little bit, um, whoops, more involved. So if you're just starting Bible study or you're a new Christian and you kind of want to learn how to study the Bible, um, this would start with just like the very basics and then... Um, it would dig in a little bit more. It's hard to, um, it's, it's something that it's kind of hard to teach, I think, just because it's something that you just kind of start doing. And then as you start doing it, you start asking more questions and then you're like, well, where do I go to find these questions? And then you figure the answers to these questions and then you kind of figure that out. And, um, it just kind of flows kind of naturally, but I want to help you be able to figure all those things out without getting stuck and not knowing where to go for resources and stuff like that. So that's one of my next thoughts too. So anyway, here is my finished page and I just added a couple little things and it just kind of adds to the page a little bit. So this kit is by Bible Journaling Ministries. So if you have not checked them out, they have a free 10 day course that you can take and I will put a link down in the description down below. This kit is part of their Momentum Kit and you get lots of, um, lots of printables, a devotional and a calendar for scripture writing plus um, lots of videos for each week. And they also have a whole video section on there on different techniques um, for Bible journaling where you can just learn so much. If you take the 10 day free course, then it is $15 a month. And believe me when I tell you, you get way more than $15 worth of printables and videos. So 
I hope you enjoyed this last video in this series, adding a little bit of bling. Oh, one other thing that you might want to add is you might want to grab, oh, this one's got owls on it. How perfect is that? Um, a little paper clip and put that on there to mark your page like so. There we go. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Remember to post those questions for next week's video down in the comments below and I will try to answer those in that video. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.